Hey, glad you're back. Today, we're gonna take what we've learned from our last videos, combine them to create this bad boy. So let's hit it. We'll be working in our leap programs again today, photo leap and video leap. We're gonna be moving a little bit quicker. This is a little more advanced video, so if you do get lost, go back, watch those previous videos. So let's go ahead and start in photo leap. Here's where we're gonna create uh, our base image. Go ahead and start a new creation. We're gonna select our bingo card as our base image. Right now, I'm gonna go in and add the X's because I've just won Chain Surfers Bingo. Right now, your bingo card's selected because of that purple box, if you'll remember, we talked about. So in order to get out of that, just go ahead and tap on the side. Then that opens up a bunch of options on the bottom. Right now, we're gonna add an element and I'm gonna be looking for an X. So go ahead and push that element button. And again, down on the left-hand side, select element. And now I have all these options of what I wanna do to mark off my bingo card. I, I love the SP ones, they're super fun. Uh, but we're gonna keep it pretty traditional today and we're gonna go ahead and use a bingo X. Go ahead and find your image, resize it to what you want it to be. I'm just gonna put it over this guy's head. Then you're gonna go ahead and push that little back arrow on the bottom left. Get yourself back to where you can edit this X. I do wanna change the color because I want it to match the bingo on the top right. So go ahead and on the bottom, you're gonna choose that color button to change the color of our X. That opens up this entire gallery of colors. You can also click this little dash to bring up and choose your own colors. We're not gonna do that because I do wanna use the exact same color of the bingo. So over on the very left-hand side, you've got a little dropper. Go ahead and select that. It'll bring this uh, circle up on the screen and you can go ahead and move that over the color that you want your X to be. Voila, there it is. So go ahead and just tap out of it. Now you know we've got our bingo to X. That looks great, that's what we want. Now we've gotta duplicate four more. So go ahead and select your image. And over on the right-hand side, you're just gonna to touch the X and it's gonna open up more options for you. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate that and we're gonna do it four more times. Now go ahead and move your X's wherever you want your bingo to be. I'm gonna go ahead and do diagonal. And now I'm gonna go back and make sure I've got the proper color exactly the same way that we changed the color the first time. So go ahead and back on your bingo card. I'm just gonna cover that image, that bingo word with an element. So I'm gonna bring the little square in, literally move it right on top of it, change the element color, just like we did before using the dropper, and I'm gonna keep that same background that it had. There you go, super, super easy. I'm ready to go to add my primate social. So down at the bottom, we have our text. Go ahead and click that button. Type out Primate Social Society. Over on the left-hand side, we can also left align it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that. Click your Done button, and there it is. Obviously too big, so resize it to the size you'd like. I don't like how spread apart the letters are and the lines are, so we're gonna change that. Down at the bottom, go ahead and click on Spacing. You'll have characters and lines. We're gonna uh, smush the characters together. So a bar pops up. You can go ahead and you know slide those as big or as small as you want. So I'm just gonna kind of bring them in a little bit. There we go. And then the lines, I really wanna bring those in. Again, you can slide it up and down to get the look that you want. Uh, go ahead and hit the back button. Again, I'm gonna resize. 
and I need to change the color, go to your color button, click that little dropper, and there we go. Now I just need to export this image to my camera roll. Go ahead again on the top right hand corner, export. I typically do my stuff in PNG, it's a little higher quality. Um, also, if I have anything that needs a transparent background, it does it in that. The JPEG won't do that for you. So export, and there you go. Go ahead and go back to Video Leap. Open the new program. We're gonna start a new project and import that image. This is our base image. Next thing we need to do is bring in our little meme monkey that we've already downloaded onto our camera roll. I talked to you last time a couple ways to do that. The best way again is to hit that mixer button, grab your monkey and import him in there. Ooh, look at him dancing away, ha ha. Now it's time to trim up the monkey. I don't want to have to add faces for the entire uh, second that he's on here. I want to cut it and only have to add faces to a very small portion of his movement. So we're going to go in and count his head, little head bops again. So we can tell where we want to cut the image off. One, two, three, four, five, and then there he moves back to his original position. So go ahead and select the monkey again, and we're gonna just shorten that image. There we go. Now we don't need this enormous bingo card, so I'm gonna shorten that as well. Go ahead and select that arrow, bring it back so it's even with the monkey. Ooh, it's taking forever. And there we go. Go ahead and hit that play button, rewind, and we've got our monkey. Okay, so this next part, you can go ahead and start overlaying your images of your primate face, but it gets really clunky and I hate it. So my preference is to actually save this movie, re-import it in, so I'm only working off of one base image. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. Export, save, and I really just go in, create a new project, import what I just exported, and now I've got one good, clean background to work with. You may choose to do it the other way, but for me, this works the best. So now I wanna add some excitement to this. I wanna bring in that uh, bingo, uh, flashing bingo. Down at the bottom, there's uh, stickers. Go ahead and click that. And it's gonna pull up a huge, whatever you want in here. I'm gonna type in bingo. Whoops, if I can spell it right. Hit the search button. You can see, look at, I'm, this is just bingo, I mean, Whatever you want is in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the bouncing bingo. And I'm gonna center them where I want. Test it out. Again, we've got this enormous bingo we don't need. So go ahead and just shorten that up. Drag it over. It's a pretty fun little sign, really colorful. And you know, that's actually how I feel when I get a bingo square. Okay, and we're just gonna bring this image to the same ending as our previous. Go ahead and try it out. Perfect. Slow motion. Good. Okay. So again, here you can come in and overlay those primate faces and add those layers right onto this, but I really like to have that clean, 
uh, only two layers to work with. Otherwise, I just end up messing it up and it takes a lot more time. So I'm gonna go ahead and export the image again. Create a new one, project, and just go ahead and import with my bingo. Now it's time to add our primate face. Click that mixer button on the bottom, choose your face, and there he is. We're gonna use this image to work with. We need to cut him again. I'm gonna scroll down to the back, select that arrow. I always try and do it too fast. Back we go, cutting the image off. Now we've got to figure out where the monkey is bouncing up and down so that we can center that primate face on it correctly. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got him where I want him. That looks good. Oh, and there's our first little bounce. Now I'll reposition the face. We're gonna duplicate this again and repeat the process. Duplicates on the bottom. Move your primate over. Find that timing and do it again three more times. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part because I think you've got this down. Okay, so we've imported all of our primate faces and moved those faces around to fit our monkey's body motion. Now we're gonna check it out, see how it looks. Go ahead and click that rewind button. Looks awesome. I always like to go back and kind of do it in slow motion. Looks great. Okay, now we've got to add to this GIF. We wanna make it a little bit longer. So go ahead and export the image. Then you're just gonna go back in and re-import it multiple times. We'll do it six times, five times. I don't know, I lost count. Okay, there we go. That's a decent sized GIF. We finished the project. Last step is just to go ahead and export it. Again, I'm using this uh, Leaps software and it doesn't save it in GIF, it saves it in movie, which is a much more high resolution. So depending on what you're using, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and export that and then make sure you save it into your own GIF program. I go to Giphy, into my profile. I can go ahead and upload my own content and then it's gonna go ahead and save it as a GIF. There we go. That's your lesson. Hope you guys have had fun. I sure have had a lot of fun. Keep making those gifts and Primate Social Society rocks.